today I thought I'd show everybody to take a look at my vintage 1980s, 1970s and 80s, I think it's mostly from the 80s, uh, the Kenner Star Wars action figure card backs. These were the, whenever you buy the action figure, of course, the figure would be right here on the bubble. And um, I opened them all as a kid, as we all did. I was a kid back in the 80s. But I kept most of the card backs. As you can see, I've got a ton of them here. And uh, there's some really interesting ones here. So I just thought we'd just take a look at these. These are all originals from back when I was a little kid. Uh, I, I don't know if, I don't think there's any Star Wars ones like from the movie. There's Empire Strikes Back in Return of the Jedi. So let's see. This was the, you know, Luke Skywalker, the basic one. I don't remember if it was the blonde or the brown haired variant. But it's one of the only ones I didn't cut out the UPC, like, because, you know, you'd cut those out and you'd mail them in and you'd get some kind of a free figure or something and it'll show. But this was like my favorite, one of my favorite figures, so I didn't, I didn't remove the uh, UPC from it. I wanted to keep it intact, but there you can see the UPC. General Mills. <laughs> but you could get the, the ad. I always wanted an ad, ad as a kid and I never had one. I got them when I grew up, but... Um, some really cool stuff. This was a 41 back. There's all the figures on there. I have all the action figures, almost all the ones from the 80s. I'm going to put them on a separate video where I just show off all the figures I have. Since we're all kind of stuck in the house right now with this self-quarantine, we're all fine, but we're just choosing not to go anywhere because we're going to try to keep everybody safe and not spread the disease and also just going to look at some of my stuff that I have here. So there's Luke Skywalker. Lobot. Empire Strikes Back. Originally bought at Kmart for $2.97. I don't know if that is when it was, March of 82 maybe. I mean, the movie was from 80. I guess they probably still had them around back then, but uh, the uh, UPC has been removed. See back for special Star Wars display arena offer. Let's see. Well, first of all, this was a 45 back card with all those. Special Star Wars action figure display arena. Action figures sold separately. That's cool. It's nice little dioramas. I've never seen those in person before, but that's cool. I don't know why, um, why is Yoda there? Yoda was never with the bounty hunters or just a random gathering of people, but Yoda shouldn't be up there in Bespin. And that's that. Snaggletooth. This was, of course, the red, not the blue. UPC removed. Price tag was removed. I like the back on this, how it's like very colorful. It's a really cool. It has the play sets and the action figures again, or the vehicles and whatnot. Walrus Man. That's uh, $2.44 at True Value. Now, see, here's the thing. Whenever I was a kid growing up in uh, was Brockway, Pennsylvania, which is a town of like, I don't know, 1,500 people maybe, tiny little town, had you know, one red light, still only has one red light. Um, they never even got a McDonald's until like 10 years ago. But in the 80s, there was at least five or six places to buy Star Wars toys. I mean, there was, if anybody is watching us from Brockway area, there was a True Value, there was a Western Auto, there was Widman's, like a little convenience store type place. Uh, there's like the Martino's grocery store might have had some. There was Gillen's, Moody's. There was just like places all over that sold not only action figures, but baseball cards. I was talking with my brother about that and how you can just back in the day you could buy baseball cards at like seven or eight different places in a town that was like a mile long and nowadays that doesn't exist but that was the junk wax era but anyway here's walrus man or as i guess they call him what ponda baba now but i prefer walrus man there's an original empire strikes, strikes back chewbacca upc gone free star wars action figure survival kit with the purchase of any five star wars action figures what do we have here Ooh. You get all these gear. I think that's what Luke carried Yoda in on his training in Empire. Some nice weapons, and again, the very colorful back. So sweet. The yeah, Adat Commander price tag uh, two ninety seven from Kmart. It's action shot from Hoth. Hey, I guess we circled those that we had back in the day. Like everything, sir. I, I did not at the time we didn't have R five D four to power droid, Bespin Luke, R two with sensor scope and C three PO with removable limbs. The the 
best or this the uh, yeah the best security guard the African American version and then there's the twin pod cloud car pilot that's a mouthful to say since I've got all those I'm pretty sure I have them all and I'll show them in my just in my video showing off all the figures here here's Darth Vader this is an Empire Strikes Back card original price two dollars and ninety nine cents I don't know what store that was but two ninety nine purple lightsaber though I don't know what that was all about. Oh, there's it's a different display a set of vehicles and stuff on the back Dagobah the X-Wing TIE Fighter the carry-in case Millennium Falcon Slave 1 and the Twin Pod Cod Car nice all right we have Greedo a fan favorite Han shot first it's a nice card UPC removed survival kit does it say it yeah it does say that just another one of those sweet 41 backs Lando Calrissian no UPC, no price. Same back. It's a nice card. <laughs> Wicket W. Warwick, the Ewok, everybody's favorite. $2.57 from Murphy's. That would have been sometime 83, 84. I don't see anything on that sticker that designates that. I don't know how they, what those other numbers on the sticker mean. But this was obviously from Return of the Jedi. No barcode removed. The back is collect all 77. This is, yeah, this is one of the later releases. Where's low gray? No way, where's low gray on here? Because some of the other pack, some of the other card backs, oh, there it is. It had low gray and I think Wicked or something. There was a couple of the Ewoks were, were blacked out. I probably have some in here because they didn't want to reveal what they looked like, even though they would say what their name was. But... This one has some cool little sets there. That Ewok hang glider, that's kind of sweet. R2-D2, now with sensor scope, 257. <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. Free Revenge of the Jedi figure with six proofs of purchase. Revenge of the Jedi, of course, the original working title for Return of the Jedi, which they never used because they didn't want to imply that Jedis sought revenge, because that's not something, re Jedis don't care about revenge or excitement or adventure you know jedis crave none of these this i think was my brother's and he put stars and stuff on it but it's really sweet all right so you could get a free admiral akbar action figure if you send in six premiere <laughs> star wars saga revenge of the jedi premiering may of 1983 offer expires january 31st 1983 allowed 10 to 12 weeks for processing my goodness that seems like a long time but we got one of those. I don't know if we mailed in for it or we eventually bought him in a store. He was there, but very cool. All right. The Twin Pod Cloud Car Pilot, 297 original price. Free for Lom or LOM figure, but the thing is that's actually, even throughout the 80s, he was known as, I just call him Forlom. He was known as Forlom, but it, they revealed that it was actually Zuckus. And then the Zuckus was actually Forlom. But from my childhood, that's for long. So I know we mailed out or mailed these in and got his figure. Let's see up here is 47 back. Special offer for free for long action figure. Blah blah blah. Offer expires August 31st, 1982. Allow 10 to 12 weeks. Well, how long was the Admiral Akbar was? Yeah, 10 to 12 weeks. I'm sure we got that in plenty of time. Next up, Hammerhead cool figure. A lot of these were bought at Kmart, I see. Kmart was when we were growing up in Dubois, which was like 10-15 minutes away. It seemed like a world away at the time, but the UPC's been removed, of course. Another free Forlom basic. IG-88. A lot of the Bounty Hunter card backs. 297 with the Revenge of the Jedi sticker. I <laughs> we tried peeling that off. It wouldn't come off. This was peeling back. But... Whoa, that's kind of... Oh, what do we have here? That's got to be the transport. Hopefully I have another one because I want to see that. But yeah, that one. Oh, there we had circled all the figures that we had. Oh, this is unpunched as well. I didn't notice that. It's kind of cool. A little bit tougher to find. But yeah, most of them are circled. Sand people's not circled. I know I have him. Power droid, of course. Let's move on. Bespin security guard. The, uh, the white variant. It was the free survival kit. We've seen this, pretty sweet. 
Luke and Hawk Metal Gear, another free four long, which is, this is interesting because it's, I know I'm thinking of Jedi, never mind. This was 297 from Kmart. There's the four long. Luke riding on his Tauntaun before it became a shelter. Imperial Stormtrooper. This is the, I believe, I want to say this was the Snow Trooper as they were later known because it was on Hoth and he was in the gear. But yeah, it says Hoth Metal Gear as well. Used to basic card back that I've seen here. Empire Strikes Back, Adept Driver, $2.99 from True Value, a little hardware store that sold action figures back in the day, of course. Why not? These were popular. Every kid wanted them. Was lucky enough to have quite a few. I had a great mom buy me all this stuff when I was 10 years old. Lobot. I think, yeah, we already saw Lobot, and this is just another one. Pretty clean card. Stormtrooper or Empire Strikes Back. Just your basic original Stormtrooper. I don't know what they're shooting at, but they're not going to hit it. They might have hit this. They might have made this hole. They're probably shooting it on and chewy and wound up putting a hole through your card, would be my guess. And uh, 41 back. Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. There's a lot going on in that card. That's the scene. I believe that's from the uh, first Battle of the Death Star, perhaps. No. Now, that might be whenever the Falcon went and hid inside that cave that turned out to be that giant monster thing. That's probably what it was, because it's an Empire Strikes Back card. But... C-3PO with the removable, what do they call it, the removable limbs, 257 from Kmart. Another Revenge of the Jedi. That's not a sticker now. Some of them were stickers. This right here. This was actually printed in the card like it won't come off. Add more that far. Rebel Commander. Obviously, uh, one of the ground troops from the Battle of Hoth from the entire Empire Strikes Back. Main card. Ugnaught. Those little silly little dudes that were up in Bespin that were helping to helping the Empire freeze Han Solo. I mean that wasn't their only job of course they but that's what they were working on. That'd be a cool Halloween costume. I wonder if anybody's ever cosplayed as an Ugnaught. Probably. What do we have? Collect all 41! What does that say? Beside the Stormtrooper. Do 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 have, I think that's what it says. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh man. But everything is circled except for the same people R5D4, the Power Droid, Bespin Luke, the Imperial Commander, I believe that is number eight. Yeah. Pretty cool. Another Bespin security guard. Oh, there's that sticker from earlier. We can see YDC. I have no idea what that is. What was that for three bucks back in the day? 2-1-B, the uh, medical droid that helped Luke after he lost his hand fighting Vader and Empire Strikes Back. That's pretty cool. It's amazing how... I would love to see that thing if, like, the actual working prototype of that for the movie. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it still exists somewhere. He was on Endor. Why is Vader on Endor? I know he was kind of in that tricky dream cave thing, but... Shouldn't be there. A nice little setup. That's that's really sweet with the Slave One playset. The Stormtroopers. Man, the Stormtrooper walking. It's like, that's a lot of common sense to carry them like that so you don't trip, or so it's easier. But then they can't even shoot the side of the barn. I guess it's good they couldn't, otherwise the movies would have been real quick. FX7, the medical droid. That was always one of the favorites of mine. I, I like this figure a lot. I think I lost the base, this piece here it falls apart uh, from the rest of it. I have the figure, I'll show them in another video when I showcase all my figures. This is one of my favorites, Sand People, or Tusken Raiders are now known as. I don't know if that's more of a politically correct thing not to call them a Sand People, but they trademarked that, I believe. Yeah, Sand People was trademarked. Free Revenge of the Jedi, it's not a sticker, it's a friend. This is the EPC intact. Proof of purchase sale, General Mills. I don't know if, if Kenner, own General Mills, what do we have here? Copyright Lucasfilm, trademarks owned by Kenner. Kenner under authorization, CPG Products Corporation, a subsidiary of General Mills. 
by its division Kenner product. I don't know what that means. But so I guess maybe General Mills owned Kenner, perhaps. But it's a very clean card. This is one of my favorite cards, so I, I didn't remove the thing. It's very clean. I like that one a lot. C-3PO, what does this say on underneath here? C-3PO's joints are stiff. Grasp arms at shoulder, leg joint, or at shoulder, joints and legs at hip. Joints and firmly pull forward to loosen, turn head left or right. Well, that doesn't seem necessary. I think we can figure that out whenever we're playing with it. But, this one's bent in half. Bosk, I like the bounty hunters. Everybody likes the bounty hunters. A nice Empire Strikes Back Bosk. <laughs> we circled all the cards or all the figures we had or didn't have. I guess we circled those we did have. The PC gone. <laughs> we cut it like smoothly. What? Well, that seems weird. The PCs seem to be uh, circular. I don't know why it was flat cut there. Princess Leia Organa, two ninety nine. Circular cut out. Three four long figure. Forty seven back. There's so many different variations on these card backs. I'm seeing. It's, there's a ton of them. Dengar, another one of the bounty hunters. Nice. He's got IGD. Oh, there's like Boba Fett popping up in the side of his uh, card there. $2.99. Oh, sweet. Here's another Stormtrooper. That's from uh, Widman there. That one, that was a little store in Broadway, like the convenience type store. It sold candy and whatever you needed. All right, there's Zuckus. He's the one that's uh, wherever Forlom was here. Yeah, let's see. Here he is. So this guy here was, a, you know, originally known as Forlom, and then he became Zuckus, and then this is actually the Zuckus card, who is in fact Forlom. Kind of confusing, but is what it is. But anyway, here's the Zuckus card with the Revenge of the Jedi cut or uh, attached. Nice. Here's another one of the sand people we have. Sweet. Another Star, or this is Star Destroyer Commander. I don't think I've had one of these card backs yet. Another one we circled. Here's Yoda. Empire Strikes Back Yoda. Free survival kit. I don't know why. I drew some weird design around that. But, cool. but that's Yoda. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yellow, I don't know what it was with the coloring of their lightsabers. I don't know what, why Kenner chose to make them look like that, but clearly. What do we have here? Han Solo Hoth outfit, $2.99 original price. Here's another C-3PO. Here is Bestman Security Guard of the African American variation. There's, this was a sticker. I don't know if this was even originally on here, but this clearly wouldn't have been under there. We must have peeled it off. I can't tell if it was here, but it's it's in good shape, but it's right there. Nice. Imperial Commander. That's printed. Oh, we just cheated and cut right into there. It's like, yeah, forget it. We're not gonna, we're, not, we're just going right in. Here's one of my very favorite figures, the Han Solo Bespin outfit. I really like this one. I still cut it out probably because it was not part of the card like over here or anything, but I lost this figure when I was a kid and to this day I've never found it. I have no clue where it was. I was I was not the type of person to lose like toys or anything. I always I kept them close. I wasn't one to like loan them out. But for some reason I lost the Han Solo Bespin figure and I never found it and it haunts me to this day because I have no idea where it is. I've since got another one, but I, the original one that I played with is long gone, probably. Princess Leia and Hoth outfit. Wow, we really destroyed that ripping it. It looks like a, it looks like a beer bottle. I don't know what, what was going on there, but my goodness, we did a hack job removing that figure. Whoa, <laughs> and on the back, crazy. There's Leia in the Bespin outfit, a Bespin gown. Very cool. Now this was maybe my all-time favorite figure, the Biker Scout, or uh, Scout Troopers they call them now, forget that, I like Biker Scout, I don't know if that was trademarked, yeah it was trademarked, 
Um, that one was three ninety nine at Thrift Drug. I think it was just a drugstore in Dubois. But yeah, I didn't remove any UPC on this. But the Biker Scout figure was maybe my action, my all-time favorite, along with the Gamerian Guard, which is coming up, and uh, that Han Solo Bespin. It's just such an amazing figure. All right, so this has, first of all, it has Chewbacca's Bandolier Strap, the Y-Wing Fighter, and the C-3PO Collector Case. And then, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this has 9 and 10, which I believe was Low Gray. Yeah, Low Gray and Chief Chirpa. It says Low Gray Ewok Medicine Man. Boy, they really have everything trademarked. But um, they told you who they were and, to an extent, what they were, but they didn't show you what they looked like back whenever these were first out. Because this would have been released before Jedi came out. So they didn't want to give away the surprise of what an Ewok was, which was kind of cool. But, yeah, those were blurred out. Klaatu, I believe he was from Jabba's uh, Skiff in Jedi. 257 price on that. Blurred out Ewoks. These are 65 bags. Here's Low Gray, the Ewok Medicine Man. Where's that sticker? Hills, $2.58. All right. I really like the Ewoks. I know a lot of diehard Star Wars fans don't like this, the Ewoks, or at least the Star Wars fans, maybe they're a little bit older, that grew up really watching the original in the 70s. I was too young for that. But um, I really like the Ewoks. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, this is low grade, but he's still blurred out on the back. I guess I don't know why that would be. Maybe they just didn't want to change the card back once it came out, but sweet. Lando Calrissian in his uh, skiff guard, whenever he helped to free Han from the clutches of Jabba the Hutt and the Carbonite. Nice one. Here's an R5-D4 Return of the Jedi release. See, I do have R5-D4. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> we just like ripped it right through. The Ewoks are shown, as you can see. See, there's a Rebel Commander, Gamerine Guard, there's Akbar. But the Ewoks are blurred out, and then on this one, that's what they look like after they removed the blackout. Here's the uh, aforementioned uh, Rebel Commando. Helped at the Battle of uh, Endor to, to destroy the shields so they could get at the Death Star. Blacked out Ewoks. Another Ewok, Chief Chirpa. A messy sticker residue there. And the Ewoks are still blurred out. <laughs> Princess Leia as, uh, I was never sure how you pronounce it, Bush, Bausch, Bush, 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 President Bush. I'm not really sure, but this was a nice one. Oh, here we go. It's our first free Return of the Jedi, not Revenge of the Jedi. Uh, the Emperor with five proofs of purchase. I know we mailed that in and got him. So first of all, the Ewoks are shown, 65 back. Free Emperor action figure still took 10 to 12 weeks. Offer expires April 15th of 1984. I think the Emperor is on one of these events. Oh, no, that's not that's Luke. Um, he's not on that one. Weequay. Weequay is one of the hired goons that helped on Jabba's cell barge, or the, what you call here, the cell barge, whenever they're trying to get rid of Luke and Han and all in the uh, Sarlacc pit. Yeah. It's a nice card. There's Gamerian Guard. All right, he's one of my all-time favorite figures. This one's on Punch, too. Nice. Um... I don't know, I just think it's a great figure. I felt bad whenever one of them got eaten by the Rancor in Jedi. It was just awful. I don't like that scene. I don't like the sound of it either. But, sweet card. There's another one of the Leia Bosch figures. Squid Head. Wow. It's a very, uh, you could tell even back in the day, uh, the Star Wars was licensing everything and they were coming up with figures that didn't really have much of a, much screen time. I, I don't, he was maybe in like a passing scene in Jabba's palace somewhere. I'm sure he was, but yeah, he did not get much screen time. Only a little bit more, or only a little bit less than Boba Fett got, but you know, he's the most popular of all time. Low Gray, Ewok Medicine Man. Nice, solid, unpunched, or uncut out card. Darth Vader, Return of the Jedi. Nice. The uh, Emperor's Royal Guard in the red outfit. That's such a sweet figure. With that cloth fabric robe, I like this figure a lot. Rees. Tough to say, Rees. What is this? Grocery, two ninety nine. That, I think, was from Martino's, the grocery store, I want to say. But, yeah, he was on Joe's. At Joe's. What is he holding there? It's probably a beer. Whatever passes for beer in Tatooine. But there's that. 
R5D4, another one. Unpunched. Yeah, they were releasing him. He wasn't in Jedi, obviously. He was he fizzled out in the original Star Wars, but he still got a card re-released. Or a figure re-released in Jedi. Death Star Droid. Oh, here we go. Free nine gnome action figure. Figure from Star Wars Return of the Jedi with five proofs of purchase. The Death Star Droid. It was 393 drug. 48 back. There we go. Nine gnome. 10 to 12 weeks expires June 15th, 1983. Premiering in May of 83. Return of the Jedi. Blah, blah, blah. Couple left. Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight outfit. That is from Zaire. $2.78. Unpunched. Nice one there. Here's a Jawa. Not the vinyl cape, obviously. I mean, well, maybe it was, and I just lost the cape back in there, but no, it was not the vinyl cape Jawa. Just your basic one. That's 65 back. Here is Nick Toe, another one of the people on Jabba's, you know, his hired henchmen, if you will. Big Ewok or accessories and stuff here. Han Solo indoor gear outfit, the trench coat, 277 for Murphy's. Nice classic figure from Jedi. And then the Princess Leia in her indoor combat poncho, if you will. Sticker we have here, Children's World, Children's Palace. I remember that. That was in Pittsburgh, $2.86. I remember that when I was a kid going to Children's Palace in Pittsburgh, and they had a huge display set up with all their action figures. It was great. I have the faintest memories of that. Boy, it'd be cool if somebody had pictures of that. Thanks for the layout. And the last one here is the Rancor Keeper 277, Unpunched from Jedi. Obviously, he wouldn't have had an Empire Star Wars card. And that's your basic. I know I have a, that's 77 back of action figure. I know I have a Boba Fett somewhere. I can't recall where it's at. I'll have to find it. If I do, I'll put it on one of these videos. But for now, there's my, uh, there's my card back collection. I didn't count how many are here. I don't know, there's probably 40 or so. I have all the figures, all these figures, and then even more. I have like about a hundred of the original, some including some of the, Last, what is it, last 18 or whatever, the power of the force. I have a bunch of those. Um, whenever I get a little more time, I'm gonna upload a video just showing all those. But for now, stay safe out there and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. That's all I got, bye.